Hello, and today is the 13th day of September 2017. My name is Derek, and welcome to this evening's video looking at Bitcoin technical analysis. And we'll start off within the daily time frame. And we can see several of the support levels in here and a clear break above that and well below the 4,000 level, making it 237.50 on the Bitstamp exchange. It's also a, a noticeable break below that low. And the setup was in play. I've been saying this for a few days and today was the day in which it uh, broke down. Below, as you can see, it's just grinding with the newly declining 18 average. And as I was stating, if it goes below four, you'd probably have a decent move to the downside. Let's shorten out this time frame. And we'll use the uh, one hour time frame for such. So the break below 4,000, well, it stabilized within that point, the key level, and it was just one leg lower. And you can't say it was any major, exceptionally larger breakdown when you have this one, all of these legs lower, and this one especially, of course, that was on the Chinese news. There are always, of course, noticeable situations, great volatility. And well, other charts are more so, but volatility in Bitcoin in comparison to other un not as conventional markets, uh, extreme. Okay, then. So since this bottom in here, we uh, can see that it's been consolidating within this 18 average for what has been about six periods or six hours now the 18 average has flattened out. So that's the first step in reversal of trend. Step number two is to establish resistance and oftentimes don't be surprised if you do such or where you came from. And well, that's where we came from. So that would be step two and then step three, come back to the band. Step four, break it. As we can see from this resistance point, I do like how it did find support amongst this 18 average of lows. Consolidated the previous period uh, in, or within the, this red one in here, this red candle is a nice consolidation. And further upside, so now is it able to uh, start uh, this trend higher? Uh, maybe, but uh, it's got a long ways to go on this time frame to uh, get, get this thing going because when you're in a bear market and you see you're in a correctionary phase like we are in and you leave it to the downside, you see it go below the 18 average of lows. In this case, we'd be looking at about 3,800, a clear break below. Then I would be very, uh, I'd be thinking that there's a good chance that not only would you go down to 30, well, 37 and a quarter or so here, but you probably go to some more of the other levels, which we'll take a look at again on the longer term time frames. And back to the daily, I see a very small congestion area here at this stage. And of course, there's this previous support, but it, I guess you can still make a move to it. Maybe a pierce below it as well, 3,500. But I wouldn't be surprised if, there's, if we even do test within any of these areas. You might think, man, that's just too extreme. I mean, going from 5,000 down to 3,000 or 2,800 even, really? Yeah, really. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to say it's definitely going to happen, but there's a lot of volatile moves where it can. And when there's people out there making uh, life changing amounts of fortunes because of this wild volatility, then that's going to go with a lot of a lot of those bankrolls who have seen. Oh, I was uh, maybe one person was up 50,000. And or their value is worth 50,000 after they were worth four digits not long before then. Now they're worth 22,000 because of these major declines. And that's what's going to happen. Oh, I was worth 4,000 one point. Then I was worth 50. Then I was worth 20. Hey, I was worth one. Then I'm worth 160. Oh, I'm below 100,000. That can happen with a lot of people's bankrolls. And as if you're trading in this, it's best to understand your risk that you are playing with. Risk reward, I think, is a very huge thing to be conscious of risk reward management that is uh, at least for my case i'm very conscious of such and uh, yeah let's move on to uh, some more longer term uh, charts 
and we will use the weekly time frame in this example. And this move is just another blimp week like it was the week before. Not much of a move, really. It's made it down to the 18 average of highs. That's in at 37.50. The 18 average of lows is in at 3,000. So it's just now gotten towards the correctionary phase. And a move to 3,000 is the equivalency of when it came down to 1,800 here. Or when it came down to 900 back here. Hack back here, it came down to 540 and then went even further to about 450, 460. So it's been very common that there has been further decline. What has not been common, or yeah, what has not been common is really going below it. Hmm, I mean, that doesn't really count. This is all there really is. Barely got below it here. So ever since this bull market has begun, it has stayed towards such. So at some point, you're going to have to talk about a longer term correction. This is when I'd like to say, okay, I'm going to need to look at the monthly chart. And I can put it up. It's just, I really cannot get that much data, unfortunately. But I'll put in what I can show. And there's only so many periods, uh, as I state, we're looking back uh, going into 2011 when Bitcoin was under $3 per coin. So just being a wise guy and saying, yeah, I got a hundred bucks to throw away. You know, it's by about 30 or so. Hey, how you doing today kind of deal. There's been a lot of major movements. So to say that something has to go down and down in a major fashion in that term, because it is up so much, well, up high or what's big and what's low, what's uh, hard, what's soft, uh, law of polarity, all those terms are terms of relevance. So it's really only opinion, something everyone has the their entitlement to have for what it is, but opinions uh, really don't pay the bills and they're not going to um, make you money either. We've seen the price action since, uh, well, let's just talk about uh, well, normally correctionary trend, but this has never been in a bear market though. But using the same sort of analogy within here, as you have a uh, resistance established and you can either say this is it, and then the break was here. But either way, if you play the break of resistance in here, because you thought it was going to revert, you're right at 600, and you're right again at around uh, 750 or so within those two places. Hasn't even seen the 18 average of highs since that point. And at some point, there needs to be a correction. But that has been the case for quite some time, pretty much since here. I almost had one here. Yeah, I guess this is a little bit of short-term correction, but nothing big. Still, it needs one, and then, oh my, it needs, needs it even more as it's going higher. Although it had a little bit of a correctionary move here, as is the case right now. So what would be normally happen on the scenario of price action coming back to this band? And we'll, we'll basically state not this month. This is to say it takes a couple periods to do. So it would happen, say, somewhere around here. It's 18 average band rising a little bit. So if you see the price action moving in towards 2400, 2500 into November, there'd be a lot of people panicking. And I'd be saying, yeah, maybe it might be the top of the bubble but we are in a bull market go over all the fundamental economic reasons of the fiat currencies all on a global level yada 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 I'm not going to talk about that here most of you should already be aware at least on a decent level to the uh, large Ponzi scheme that is but there's going to be people talking about this being a Ponzi scheme as well 
I'm still in a believer that I think that the fiat currencies are going to fall before this one as the fiat currencies, people will be getting into this during that situation. Of course, the currency loses its, uh, its value, basically. Okay, now I'm going to draw a little bit of a small rectangle. Just uh, say from this low in here up to about here. Let's go about right. This is the size of the move from this high that would be required to reach Dow 13,000 and change. The web bots have talked about some pretty outrageous numbers to occur. Okay, whatever. Let's talk about how this could happen technically. We've already seen early March, the price at 950 go to 5,000. That's about a half a year period. And the gain on that is better than 5x. And five times the 5,000 number, well, that's... That's 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 twenty five thousand. That's much higher than the number half the number, is what it stated. And let's just assume that it does correct, and then as we move into the northern hemisphere cold weather season, that it goes up five times to fifteen thousand. What's fifteen thousand divided by five? Well, the answer is three thousand. And I'm not saying because of that math that it's going to go to the 3,000-ish area. Probably if we're doing five times, even 2,700-ish, even 2,600. And I think if we go there, a pierce below three is more likely. But what I'm saying is it's not a surprise for markets to come back to where they came from, thus making higher lows. So therefore, when I look at the absolute resistance level that is significant in here, this was a 2750 hit. This range 2750 close to three. This was a 2750 hit. This consolidated or congested in the 2750 area. Well, that to me would seem to be like a normal course of where it would go. If again, if there's a correction, let's also point out too, I've talked a lot like before how this was a failed breakdown. Well, that could happen again. After all, it's already broken down below this key support. So if you see the situation where it enters the band within the next two to three days, and then it escapes it within two to three days after that, I'll be talking about the failed move fast move. And the whole point on where I want to go on this is that if there isn't going to be any serious corrections and all you're getting is going to be this little bit of whatever this time movement is going to be, and that's definitely a possibility. Maybe we'll have a sideways uh, movement within this range or even possibly a sideways movement within some sort of range like this or even this is a support range. Those are all possibilities. But when those correctionary phases are completed, we've seen tremendous gains amongst the board with the cryptos, but in the reference here to Bitcoin, definitely enough to state that a move of a 4X or a 5X from where we stand now in under a year's time, even under seven, eight months time, is not out of the realm of possibilities. At least that's how I perceive the, the method of this market. As I'm playing this, I'm playing as if all sell-offs are guilty until proven innocent unless I can know something to the contrary to revert the statement. Nothing has even been close to that yet. And within such, I do need to protect myself within the portfolio, which is why I enjoy using Bitcoin in references of like money by buying uh, physical uh, precious metals, no more that of silver, and being able to use it to buy gift cards. And when you're around people, they're like, oh man, I, I want to get some Bitcoin. I got like 400 bucks. 
uh, can I get any off you? Well, sure. I'm, I'm a nice guy if you need it so badly. I got to take bits and pieces out anyway. So just different ways of, uh, you, again, that's all the risk reward that I talked about. Risk reward management is, I think, job number one as a trader. And I really can't emphasize, I guess I really, I should say, I really can't emphasize that enough. And I'm, I should say that more for the future because I should say that more in my videos. Uh, risk reward is job number one. And I probably will from this point on, because I think again, that's a really, really important understanding your strategy, staying with the game. And like I stated, unless something on the contrary comes in, if you're looking to have a long-term purchase in here, you stay with the game until something happens. And when one of those things, of course, might again be this thing breaking higher because then, oh boy, this thing would go off. But uh, this 18 average, as I stated in, at the start of this video, newly declining, stage one, band flatten out. I mean, I don't want to count, that's not counting as support. Stage two, establish a level of support. Normally, I like it to go a little bit lower, at least to this level. But this will do if it comes back to the band. And then the next stage is once you have a break, you would technically have a bear market. Now, of course, like I stated, I do suspect that all sell-offs would be guilty until proven innocent. So if I, as a trader, were to see something like this. Okay, so you go, say it continues going further to here comes up to this band and then it breaks down below maybe i might consider uh shorting or basically selling a bit of bitcoin at this level looking to buy back of course at the congestion area and of course i'd only do a little bit of it anyway because i need to use it on a day to day uh, level as my base currency to increase the bitcoin total as it's uh you can get into situations where I notice, okay, maybe the markets go down here and I have more Bitcoins than I did before. My portfolio dollar value would be worth less. So be it, because I know that these things are most likely going to revert higher, just like it did, of course. I gotta end this soon. Here, this little move here, all this stuff here. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.